Hi there, it's Catherine from Three Ps. Welcome to my office. I'm usually in the gym, but today it's my office. Um, I wanted in this video just to talk about when to train, because I often get asked that. I'm a personal trainer, um, specialised in weights, and I've got clients who say to me they're not sure when they when to train or when they can train. Um, uh, my first answer to that is usually, well, when do you have time? Um, sometimes they'll actually already know roughly when they've got time and then obviously that is the best time but often they'll say to me they don't have time or they're not sure that when they can commit and that probably takes me back to the basics which is when to train is first of all you have to commit to train because if you commit to train you will make the time um, if you have committed and then are saying well yeah you, you, you've got some flexibility in your schedule with, about when you can train then my advice to you would always be to train first thing in the morning um, the reason being that if you train early enough, there is not anything that's going to get in your way. There is not going to be, um, you know, there are no calls from your your work during that period. Um, your your family are sleeping. Um, it's really is the best time to train is first thing in the morning. Now, for some of you, you may say, well, you know, I don't want to get up that time or, you know, uh, I've got to travel to the gym. You need to make a plan for how you're going to get yourself up in the morning. And I think I've talked on a previous video about the fact that getting up um, early becomes a discipline and it's about making that commitment at night and then not allowing any mental debate in the morning. You get up, you drink a glass of water and then you get on and get ready to go to the gym. Now, once you get up, the question then is, well, you know, do you need to eat before you train? And I know certainly with a lot of people with cardio, they like to do their cardio without eating. That's not something you can follow through on weights. You really can't lift weights on an empty stomach. So to follow the advice of Franco Colombo, who was Arnold Schwarzenegger's training partner and became a nutritionist, um, on the way to the gym, eat something. You, this is the one time of the day where you can be guilt-free about having something that is simple sugars. So if you want to have a piece of fruit, have a piece of fruit. If you want to have some fruit juice, have some fruit juice. Uh, what you don't want is anything which will take time to break down because you're actually looking for an immediate boost of energy. Um, when I have clients who have trained with me and they haven't eaten, number one, I can tell, and number two, they end up feeling like really quite ill because they're having to rely on a surge of adrenaline to create energy. So if you haven't got any sugar in your system, your body, in order to cope, will release adrenaline on an empty stomach. Again, that is a really quite an unpleasant experience, and it's not good for you. So the, I would say to you is whatever time you train, you need to make sure you've eaten before you uh, start to lift weights. So... What if you say to me, well, I, I would love to train in the morning, but I'm not able to train in the morning, or I can, but I haven't got much time. Well, I, I tell you the story about um, Arnold Schwarzenegger, two stories about him, actually. The first is that uh, when he was doing his military service and he was going off into the desert um, and he was in charge of a tank with a small uh, group of um, other soldiers, he used to stash his weights at where the tools were kept in the tank and then he would get up an hour before everybody else in the desert and he would train with his weights before everybody else got up. So that is dedication for you. He found, he made the time, he prepared for it, and he then followed through and did his weights first thing in the morning. The second story about Donald Schwarzenegger is that when he then first moved to uh, Munich to train, which he did when he was just starting to compete, and he was working in the gym because obviously he needed to eat, so he had a job in a gym, and he wanted to train but didn't have enough time in the morning. So what he did was he split his routine. He did a chunk in the morning and a chunk in the evening, now the folklore became, oh, well that's you know that's how bodybuilders train, they have a split routine. But that's not how it started, he did that because he simply didn't have enough time to get the volume in. So what he did was he split his routine. So I'm not suggesting that you need to go to the gym twice a day, but what I'm suggesting to you is you make a plan, you work out what you can do in the time. It is better to do 15 minutes in the gym than miss the session completely. If only to keep the, your headspace in the right place. So whatever time you've got, use that. If you do have to split your routine, so be it. If worst case, you maybe have some free weights at home, do some free weights exercises at home when you've got more flexibility, and then when you want to use weight machines, you go into the gym. I, I got certainly got one client who does almost all of their training at home, but on their leg day, that's the day they get to the gym, and that's the one day that they don't miss. So just look at your schedule, look at what's doable, look at what you can do at home, um, look at what you can do before work, um, as I said, morning training is probably the most likely. If you leave it till the end of the day, there's always things that are going to get in the way. But whatever commitment you make, the most important thing is that you keep that commitment because weight training and bodybuilding, you won't grow without consistency. So you need 
to be in the gym and you need to get to the gym on the days that you said you would get to. You can't be taking days off and weeks off. You're never going to progress. If, if that's happening, you need to, to sort of step back and have a look at why it is that you're not committing. Are you conflicted? What, you know, what else is getting in the way, to, way of that? Um, I know some people find it much easier to have a training buddy or a training partner. First, because they've committed to train with that person, so they feel guilty they don't turn up, but also because it gives them someone that, who's also measuring their results. You can tell you know, whether they're working hard in the gym or, gym, or whether, in fact, they, they've missed a few sessions because they're not, they're not working as well as they should be. So if you have issues around you know, commit, commitment or following through, procrastination, then think about getting a training buddy. Um, you don't need a training buddy to do weights, and I predominantly um, train on my own only because I'm training very early in the morning. Um, but either way, time in the gym, there's no substitute for it. Time exercising at home, there's no substituting for it. If you want to build muscle, you want to get that lean muscle physique, you have to spend time training. Well, I hope that's been useful. Um, if you've got any comments, you want to do this or this, the video, just um, uh, leave me a comment at the end of this video. Please subscribe. It's, it would be a pleasure to have you. Um, all the videos on this site are about fitness and nutrition and weight training and resilience, positive um, things in your life. So I hope that you'll be inspired and encouraged and motivated to train. You can also reach at our Facebook page. We are www.facebook.com forward slash 3Ps Media and you'll find information and commentary and expert commentary on those same subjects there. You can also reach us at our website which is www.3pspublishing.com. There are a couple of free book, book giveaways on that site at the moment so you can go on there and look at one of, one of the books is called Alcohol Free Drinks and it obviously does what it says on the cover so it's about what to drink when you're not drinking which if you're training and trying to develop is a good thing. Um, there's also a book on there which is about how to lean up but still be able to eat sweet things and that's called eating clean but keep it lean sweet treats and that's also free to download give you some ideas of things that you can have to satisfy your sweet tooth while also shredding up for summer so i hope those books are helpful um, do give us some comment give me some feedback um, it's always a pleasure to have you i realize you're busy so it's a privilege to take your time i will see you soon and i'll see you in the gym bye